This is Muhammad from Cisco PDI Technical Advisor Team. Using this video, let's talk about how to configure SNMP on ACA Fabric. And also, I will take you through the lab to show this in action. In my experience, SNMP is not very complicated. However, if you do not get a chance to familiarize with the ACI, it could be a little confusing for you. Anyway, SNMP is widely used for event monitoring. On ACI Fabric, you can have SNMP version 1 or version 2 or version 3 running. The logs are generated or the SNMP traps are generated based on policy scope, which means you can define your SNMP policy under access policy to monitor the access interfaces, or you can define under the fabric policies to monitor the fabric related events. Also, you have an option of configuring it under tenant which allows you to monitor tenant related events. Okay. Now we talk about what are the configurations required to do the SNMP on ACI fabric. The first step, and it is a very important point. The SNMP configuration is fabric wide. That means once you enable SNMP, the SNMP is enabled on all the nodes which is part of the fabric. If you ask what are the steps, the first step is to define the SNMP port policy and then map that port policy to the policy group then to the profile. Basically, this is how you follow the policy tree architecture. We will see this in the lab. Second step would be defining your destination policy group. In that you will specify the server IP, what version of SNMP you are going to use, what is the SNMP port, those kind of details. Finally, you will define your source policy Source policy basically tells what is your SNMP policy scope. Are you going to uh, configure it under the access policies or a fabric policies or under some specific tenant, right? So, and once you define your SNMP source policy, you map that source policy to the destination SNMP policy group. All right. So, now you have understood what is SNMP, what are the capabilities of SNMP on SA Fabric. You also know the configuration steps. Now how do I verify? To verify the SNMP configuration, I use the show SNMP command. That is very, very easy. It also gives you all the information related to your configuration. Moving to the lab topology, it is very simple setup. As you can see in this lab, I am using in-band EPG to reach my SNMP server and I have only one spine and two leaf and one API controller. Let's talk about some prerequisite. So the first thing is, you should have some SNMP trap receiver to receive the trap. What else? You also need to have a reachability to the trap receiver. Very, very simple. In our case, we are using a Red Hat server to monitor the SNMP trap, which is coming from the SA fabric. Now, let's connect to the lab. So first thing is, let's, let's connect to some of the leaf and spine and check the reachability to the SNMP server. To check the reachability, I use iPing.
let me try the same command on other nodes okay reachability looks fine now let's log into the epic GUI like we discussed the first thing is you need to enable SNMP for that you should navigate to the port policy under that SNMP we'll select default SNMP policy and let me enable I change the admin state from disabled to enabled contact you can specify the contact details and location details just giving mm at uh, pdi.com location Bangalore submit now the second step would be where exactly you want to send your SNMP details to so I'm clicking on admin external data collectors under that there's monitoring destinations I choose SNMP and I'm going to define an SNMP destination group let's give it a name I'm giving Linux SNMP SRV so I'm receiving the SNMP trap on my Red Hat server now let's also give the IP address details here this is my destination server IP and let's give a security name giving a security name as mm and i choose inbound as my management dpg click finish now we have the destination snmp policy ready now let's define the source policy you can have source policy under tenant or under fabric policies or you can have under access policies I'm not going to define it under fabric policies considering I have only uh, one spine and two leaf I don't want to make any changes to the interfaces which is going from leaf to the spine uh, that may isolate one of my leaf so let's define it under the access policies select monitoring policies default monitoring policies under that SNMP let's give a name for our source SNMP policy I would call it as access SNMP and I will map this policy to the destination policy group which I defined earlier submit so we have port policy defined we have destination SNMP policy group defined we also have SNMP source policy defined now let's connect back to the leaf and see the SNMP configuration let's verify the SNMP configuration show SNMP great so you see SNMP protocol is enabled and the host is 192.168.90.36 this is my SNMP server and the port is 162 version I am using this right now let's enable some monitoring of SNMP so that once we trigger any events we can monitor the SNMP traffic from the spine and leaf and also 
we will check on the Linux server. So considering I'm going to trigger a event by disabling an interface on the leaf 2 I will start a TCP dump on leaf 2 so the command would be TCP dump to disable one of the interface I'll access leaf 2 and select one of the physical interface to demonstrate I will select this 1 slash 4 on leaf 2 this interface is admin down so we will make this interface up so before we do that let me also connect to my Linux server. I'm monitoring the war log messages to see whether I receive any trap. So we have a monitoring session using a TCP dump on leaf 2 and also we have a monitoring session on the Linux server. So let's trigger the event by enabling this interface. Let's go back to leaf 2. Great. So you can see this is my in-band IP of the leaf 2 and I am sending to the destination server 90.36 you see here the interface 1 slash 4 and the OID of the SNMP uh, trap so let's let's connect to the Linux server and see the event details Okay, I don't see this received here. Let's check the SNMP config file. This looks fine. The message was taking some time however I can see we have the interface up messages received okay great so we are able to verify the SNMP trap locally on the leaf and also on the server awesome this concludes the SNMP configuration demo on ACA fabric thank you for watching we will have more session in future.